Hi everyone, welcome to this video on custom sorting in Syncfusion Xamarin Forms Data Grid. I am using a sample that was configured with all the necessary data grid namespaces and data. You can download this getting sorted sample from the link provided in the description below. And you can also watch the getting sorted video titled Xamarin Forms Data Grid Getting Sorter which I have shared in this YouTube card. In the getting sorted tutorial, we saw how to bind data to the data grid using item source property. Also, I have enabled the allow sorting property. Let me run this application in Android emulator. You can see the data grid bound with data. Now, I click the ship country column header. It sorts in ascending order. I again click the ship country header. It sorts in descending order. Now, I will show you how to customize this sorting in the data grid based on the length of the ship country values. To achieve it, first I need to create a custom comparer and then bind to the data grid's ship country column so that it can sort based on the values length. Let me add a new class for custom comparer. I inherit the interface I comparer, the type object. Since I need to compute based on the length, I declare an integer variable for x value, integer variable for y value. I add a condition if the type of x equals no, type of order info this is the model class I'm using right now. So here I need to set the length of the ship country value. So cast it the order info set the length of the ship country value. I do the same for y value. If the type is not equal to order info, I just do it with the else part. Set the value x with the length value. I am just casting it to string and then setting its length. Next, I need to return the sort direction. To do that, first I inherit the I sort direction interface. Which is from Syncfusion data namespace. I add the condition with the value of x is compared to value of y if it is greater than 0 it should return the value 1 or minus 1 based on the sort direction assigned to the ship country column uh, sorry I, first I need to implement this interface If it is ascending, I will be passing the 1, otherwise I will be passing the minus 1 value. Else if the x value is compared with value y, if the value is equal to minus 1, then it should return the minus one value if it is ascending. So I return sort direction equal to dot ascending, then it returns minus one, otherwise it returns one. Else it should return zero. So this is my custom comparer class. 
which sorts based on the length of the ship country values. Let me use this in the data grid. I create a resource for my custom comparer class. Content resources. Post dictionary. Stream comparer. I set the key value as comparer. Next, I need to set the custom comparer to the SF data grid. So I use the property sort comparers. To use the sort comparer class, I declare the namespace data. So here I use the data object to access the sort comparer. I set the comparer property with my comparer resource. I set the property name ship country. I save the file and run the application. You can see in the data grid, initially the ship country is not in sorted state. I click the ship country. You can see the ship country values sorted based on the length of its values. I click again to sort in descending order. You can achieve the same behavior by adding the custom comparer in the code behind instead of XAML to do so. Let me remove the sort comparer settings in the XAML code. In the code behind, using the data grid object, I add a new sort comparer. I set the property name as ship country. I set the comparer with my custom comparer. I save the file and run the application. Let me click the ship country column header. Yeah, it sorts in ascending order based on the values length. I click again. It sorts the values based on the length of the values in descending order. Now, let me show you how this custom sorting works in iOS. I change the startup project to iOS. I run the application. I click on the ship country. It sorts in the ascending order. I again click on the ship country. It sorts in the descending order. Now, let me show you how this custom sorting works in UWP. I change the startup project to UWP. I run the application. I click the ship country header. It sorts the values based on its length. I click again. It sorts the values in descending order based on the values length. That's it. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you are eligible for our community license which gives you a free license key to use our Xamarin products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.